hello everybody so today as the name suggests in the video you will be trying to achieve that watercolor look but with acrylics now this is one card that i was wanting to try since the time craft angles liquid acrylics has been released now here are the three colors of liquid acrylics that we'll be using which is thalo green white and black this is one question that i got a lot from many of our followers was that uh you know uh, liquid liquid watercolors blend pick up beautifully same with distressing etc but is there a way in which we can seal these colors so as to make sure that you know these colors don't come on your hand when you know you are actually somebody is trying to pick up a card using wet hand etc now that scenario would not normally come like you if you are gifting something to a person that person is definitely not going to have wet hands and is going to open a card but let's say you know for just because that you are putting so much energy into it you want it to be waterproof then liquid acrylics is the way to go now here what i'm doing is i started off with a piece of handmade watercolor paper simply because i was going for a more neutral tone look you could definitely uh, change this paper with any of the craft angles classic smooth white dual textured watercolor paper anything that your heart desires you can use normally acrylics are fairly forgiving as compared to watercolors in the type of paper that you are using so you should be able to get away with basic papers like dual textured white or classic smooth white if you are not doing a lot of layering on top of it however if you plan to do a lot of layering and you are actually doing an acrylic painting then i would suggest you use 100% cotton watercolor paper in my case i have used handmade paper and you can see after putting a lot of water at the end probably some of the paper had started disintegrating in the center but that's fine as soon as i dry it will just give it a more organic look which anyways i was going for in my card so as you can see we were able to blend these colors beautifully now since these liquid acrylics are transparent in nature since they mimic liquid water colors but are permanent when they dry these are perfect to create those water colored looks that you always wanted now i have used shades of green white and black to create a more of an ombre effect you could have used you know you could have gone rainbow colors you could have done ombre in some other colors etc etc now personally for me any card is incomplete without splatters and that is why what i have done is i am using some white watercolor so this is camlin white watercolor tube that i am using by the way at any point of time if you want to see the list of products that i'm using or talking about all the product links are mentioned in the description of the video so i am using white splatters and then i'll be adding some black splatters the black will be the blackberry liquid liquid watercolors by craft angles and uh, that is what i'm using over here now with this card what i wanted to show you was not only that liquid water liquid acrylics are extremely transparent just like liquid water colors they are also extremely fast drying so if you work quickly enough you will be able to blend them beautifully like how i have done so but since they are fast drying due to the nature that you know they are primarily made for mixed media artist and artist who do small canvases etc they are prime you they how they are different from your traditional acrylics is they dry faster and since they are pure pigments they are more transparent now here is the oopsie moment on my card i could have cut it from my editing however i wanted to keep this for you all just so that you could see that you know even after doing years and years of videos there are mistakes that happen and you can easily fix them just think outside the box now here i did some embossing on top of the handmade paper directly now what happened was that since this is handmade paper it is more fibrous as compared to the regular card stock that we use normally in card making so what happened was by the time i stamped it using versa versamark embossing ink and did put powder on top of it and started heating that embossing powder the paper had already soaked in all the embossing ink and that is why the powder did not stick at all to my sentiment rather it flew away as soon as i put my heating tool on top of it and that is why you see that partial embossing that happened on the card so it's okay 
mistakes do happen so now i was thinking that how i can fix that issue so what i did was i decided to cover that part where you know the partial embossing happened with some black strips of cardstock where i will put the exact same sentiments so now i am using the exact same sentiments however instead of using it on the card directly i am applying it on some midnight black cardstock this is 250 gsm craft angles cardstock and i will then do embossing on top of it using ranger super fine white embossing powder so this is primarily one of the major difference between you know us using cardstock or a handmade paper because again this is a question that i get a lot of time that can i use my regular handmade kind of a paper that i get in stationery shop well you can try not all papers are same in your case probably you could get a thick enough paper in your local stationery which does not soak in the ink like how it did in my handmade paper but probably if it doesn't you may have to switch up your paper and try something else so this is how the embossing looks on the black paper once it dried off and honestly now i like the card much better because that black really popped up the sentiments on top of that uh, colored panel and it really created a good contrast so this what i did was then i foam mounted these sentiments using some blue double sided foam tape and then i'll be using a white notelet by craft angle so these are pre cut what notelets are basically are they are pre cut card bases which is a2 card size so you get them in 2 gsm 230 gsm and 300 gsm and you get them in couple of sizes like you get slim line you get a2 card size you get in a2 you get the one which opens horizontally the one which opens vertically so depending on your requirement you can probably you know try out uh, which uh, notelet suits you better and they also have a coordinating envelope of the same size so you know you don't have to make your own envelopes because at the end of the day they are extremely time consuming if you know you are a person who makes cards in bulk so that was the card for today i hope you enjoyed i it's one of my favorite card in the entire release so simple yet so pretty and i'll see you in my next tutorial till then take care bye bye